welcome to this Steagle video about the pages capabilities in new Google Sites. First of all, in new Google Sites, you can create multiple pages. As you can see in our test site here, on the right hand side, you have the pages panel and you have the new page button. You can add a page and give it a name. And Google Sites will then create a brand new page for you. Google Sites automatically creates navigation for you. As you can see, I now have the contact page and it's automatically been added to the navigation at the top. You get a manual page ordering. I can click and drag the page and reorder the page and the navigation instantly updates. You can have two levels of navigation, pages and subpages. If I am to make my sign up page a subpage of the contact page, I click and drag and it connects to the bottom of the contact page and is indented. So as you can see, this is now a subpage and is available on a drop down menu of the contact page. You can have top or side navigation. Once you have multiple pages, on the left hand side of the header, you can alter the navigation settings. This allows you to have top navigation or side navigation. Finally, you can have different looks for each page. As you can see from our test site here, our home page has a big blue banner across the top in the header. Whereas our sign up page has a splash graphics and the contact page again has something else. You don't need the same look on every page. Due to Google Sites being brand new, there are some still some limitations with new sites. So at the moment you can't have no non navigable pages. If you wish to make a page, I want this page to be hidden. There's no way to do so, you don't have the option. As soon as you create a page, it will appear on the site's navigation. There's no way to add links in the navigation, only new pages. There's only two levels of pages on navigation. There's no way to make a third layer. There's only the two layers there. You cannot recover deleted pages, only undo immediately deleted actions. So let's give that an example. I can remove my hidden page from the site and it's gone. And as you can see, we get the ability to restore this page as soon as we've deleted it. Again, the page comes back instantaneously. Thanks for watching. We hope this has been useful. And you can find more new Google Sites videos at steagle.com.